does the Bible define love? Love, as defined in the Bible, is selfless, sacrificial, and unconditional. It is exemplified by God's love for humanity, demonstrated through the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Biblical love involves both actions and attitudes that seek the welfare and best interests of others, regardless of their deservingness or reciprocation. It is patient, kind, forgiving, and seeks to build up and edify others, reflecting the character of God himself. What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Forgiveness, according to the Bible, is both a command and a gift from God. Believers are called to forgive others as God has forgiven them, extending grace and mercy even to those who have wronged them. Forgiveness involves releasing feelings of resentment and bitterness, choosing to let go of past hurts, and reconciling relationships whenever possible. It is a demonstration of Christ-like love and a pathway to healing and reconciliation. How can we discern God's will according to the Bible? Discerning God's will involves seeking His guidance through prayer, reading, and studying His Word, seeking wise counsel from mature believers, and being open to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. It requires a surrendered heart, humility, and a willingness to submit to God's authority and direction in all areas of life. By aligning our desires and decisions with the principles and purposes revealed in Scripture, we can walk confidently in God's will and experience His blessings and guidance. What role do the Ten Commandments play in Christian life? The Ten Commandments serve as a moral foundation and guide for Christian living, providing principles of righteousness and holiness that reflect God's character and standards. They reveal God's moral law and His expectations for His people, teaching us how to love God and love our neighbors. While Christians are not under the law as a means of earning salvation, the commandments still serve as a standard of conduct and a mirror that reveals our need for God's grace and forgiveness. How should Christians approach the concept of judgment? Christians are called to approach the concept of judgment with humility, recognizing that ultimate judgment belongs to God alone. While Christians are called to discern right from wrong according to biblical principles, they are also called to show love and mercy, reflecting the character of Christ who came not to condemn but to save. Christians should strive to live righteous lives, but ultimately trust in God's perfect justice and mercy.